there are some fossils that uh, clearly resemble very closely ones that have been found before. So you call those those are substantiating uh, elements of substantiating evidence. But to uh, something new that comes along um, that doesn't fit in the existing paradigm, it seems to me that um, what happens is that the person who's found it goes out looking for something that's con going to conform with his ideas of what ought to be. Um, and that has been a major stumbling block in, uh, in, in the science. I mean, Eugene Dubois, who uh, um, in the 1890s went to Java, clear, clear in his mind that he was going to find the missing link, the link between uh, modern humans and, um, and, uh, and a chimpanzee-like ancestor. Um, and to everybody's amazement, he actually did find a skull. But it was just, a, well, he found a bit of a skull. It was the top half of a skull, uh, just down to the eyebrow ridges and around to the back, uh, and a femur, um, a thigh bone. The thigh bone was clearly that of, a, of, a, of a, an ancestor, a um, hominid ancestor who had walked upright. There was no doubt about that. But there was very little of it that could be derived from, uh, from the skull he'd found. But nonetheless, he, uh, he built a total, complete reconstruction of this animal and, and spent the rest of his life actually trying to convince the world that this was, this was it. This was the link between the uh, uh, pre-existing uh, hominid ancestor and modern humans.